Hey everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. Hope you're doing well. One of the things that uh, we kind of talk about a lot is um, our uniforms. For some people, the most important part of uniform is the belt because a lot of us identify, uh, based on, ba identify ourselves based on what belt we wear. Now it can be, mostly it's a color. Yeah, it's just the color of the belt. Uh, in fact, you know, a lot of people, if you're a blue belt, once you get your blue belt, what do you do? You go and buy a blue gi if you don't already have one. Or if you're a purple belt, go buy a purple rash guard. Um, or a gi with uh, purple accents to match it, right? Because it's still kind of new to you, and it's kind of a, I guess, kind of a cool thing. I guess, uh, you know, the thing that I did when I got my black belt was, I just went and bought a black belt. Um, in fact, here, I have one right here. This. So this is just a regular belt that you wear, that I just wear with my pants, my jeans. And, um, and it's, uh, it's made by OTM and I saw this on, on the website and I just went and bought a couple. Um, thought it was cool. <laughs> so I guess I can wear my black belt when I'm out and about. But yeah, so that's, uh, that was what I did. So that was the thing that, that did it for me. You know, I was, uh, got my black belt and then decided to make a purchase that had to do with it and then I guess I just got that. One thing that they, we kind of talk about washing your belts and how important it is to wash your belt at least for me. A lot of people don't. You know, they believe in that superstition that, that if I wash my belt, then I'll lose what I learned, I guess, whatever you want. Um, but for me, it's about staff and ringworm and all that kind of gross stuff, as I've mentioned before. But we got a new thing today. Got a little package. So I thought I'd kind of open it in front of you guys. It's not mine, but I'm gonna open it anyway. By the way, this is the Kama Jiu Jitsu knife. Right, um, I don't know if you can see it, but let me show it to you. Can you see the logo? Yeah. Anyway, so one of our students um, had that made, had one made for Dave and one for me. Now what's in the box? Well, we talked about belts, right? Just the receipt and all that. Stickers. Free stripes for life, and this is a Kataro belt. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with this. Um, I wasn't until my birthday last year. Oh, this past, actually no, this year. One of my students actually bought me one for my birthday, and here we have. It's all nicely wrapped. You know, a lot of people have been getting into custom belts lately. In the old days we'd have the belt whichever one our instructor gave us. That would be our only belt. Until we got a new one from our instructor and that'd be our only belt. But as the sport has increased in popularity, you now have more gi manufacturers. Before, when I started, it was just Tiger. Um, Tiger and KI, right? Tiger was the ones, you, if you were lucky enough to get them from Brazil, those are the ones that you see, you look at those pictures with Elio Gracie and his sons, you know, they're, they're just standing there like that and they're wearing all the same smooth gi. That's, uh, that was the old tiger gis. That was the ones that they wore. They were, uh, it was a smooth fabric. It wasn't a pearl weave that a lot of us wear today, which is really just a, a light version of the old judo gis that were once worn. Um, they're really heavy. You had single weave and double weave. Those are really only your choices. You typically would get them from Mizuno or, or uh, KI, which is like a cheap version of a Mizuno. And they were hot. When I got my, my Tiger, when Helson brought one in for me from Brazil, that was my favorite gi. And I wore that gi for like four or five years. And uh, Professor Fernando's mom had to keep patching it up for me because it would tear. You know, once it gets to be, you know, you wash it, you know, three, four days, times a week every time you, you train in it. I mean, you're using it a couple of hundred times a year. Now you go four years, you know, almost a thousand times I probably wore it. So things would tear, she'd fix it and all that. But, you know, so now we have designer gis and designer belts. So this belt made by Kataro, believe it or not, they are in the USA. And I'm just opening this one. This isn't mine. This is Master Dave's um, because... Uh, so one of my students bought this one for me. He already had one. Another student of mine already had one as well. And they just like to spend money on stuff. But you know, one thing, this, this is a very nice belt. And you know the best part about it is? It's American made. 
I think it's made in Indiana or Illinois. Um, Kataro is based out of, see, handcrafted. Made in the USA. Um, I don't know where they are, like Indiana. No, Illinois, Joliet, Illinois. So that's where they make your belts. And these are semi-custom belts. You can kind of talk about how you want it, or just kind of put on the website how you want it done, whether you want to be, you know, whatever length, you can choose a length. Um, you know, in fact, I've got two of my three Kataro belts here. I have one at the studio. Um, or is it in the car? I don't know. Um, these just came out of the wash. So these are three different types of belts you can get from Kataro. So the first one that I got is the Grappler's Weave. And, you know, if you kind of look at this weave right here, it's kind of like gi material. I don't know if you can kind of tell. Um, let me... Uh, Kind of shine my light on it. So there, you can kind of see that. That's the kind of weave that it is. That's what they call the grappling weave. And you can specify the, the weight of the belt if you want. You can also specify the width. If you look at Dave's one, for instance, Dave's one is a little bit taller. It's about an eighth of an inch taller than, than the one I ordered, well, the one that my student ordered for me. This is the one that he gave to me. And the stripes are all sewn on. So you can get it with no, you can get it pure black, like on this side, all the way through, or you can get, so this uh, student of mine, um, he bought this for me, and he actually bought it with the red bar, with the uh, um, professor bars, top and bottom, which are these two here, um, and one degree, because back then I, I had one degree. And they let you choose the length of the bar as well. So I think this is a four and a half inch bar, but there was actually like an eight inch or six inch bar. So the red bar went all the way down to there. So it was a long one. Um, and the best thing about a company like Kataro is that, you know, when you get promoted, you can add your degrees on here or your stripes if you're a, a blue, purple, brown belt. You, know, you can go in and they'll sew it on for you. Because you know how we did it in the old school, right? Um, it was taped on. So here's my old Lucky belt. So Lucky, they make great belts as well. Um, but the, it comes with the red bar sewn on and then you have to use medical tape to put on the professor bars and then your degrees. This is how pretty much belts always have been. Uh, it's a, uh, you know, these, uh, these belts like this are relatively new, uh, these custom belts. And in fact, um, Dave, when he gave me my black belt, I think the belt that he gave me was a, I want to say it was a gameness belt. And I used that belt and it got worn out, I, but I did always have a spare. Um, because for me, it's always, I like to have my uniform, a, a uniform with me wherever I am. So I'd usually have one in the car, maybe I'd have one at the academy. And that way, if I forget a gi, because sometimes I'm just kind of, my schedule is so tight these days that I might be running around and I forget to bring a gi. And wherever I am, I'll have one. And it doesn't, if I only have one belt, then you know, where's that belt? Maybe it's in the wash. So that means I'm gonna be training beltless. Well, I could put another belt on, I don't really care. You know, there'd be times where I'd be upstairs training um, at the home studio and right now I'm looking on the railing and I have a brown belt and a black belt. For a while I had a purple belt on there as well. So I would just grab whatever and I just put it on. It didn't matter to me. You know, so that's why I'd have multiple belts because I just didn't want to be left without a belt, just like I don't want to be left without a gi, because I always want to be ready to train. So for me, it was easier just to buy multiple belts, so I'd have a bunch of them, and I think right now I'm probably running about six of them. So my belts don't get worn out as quick, as quickly now as it would if I just sported one belt. So for those of you that are asking why my belts don't look all that worn out, it's because I have a lot of them. Um, this was the belt that Dave gave me for my first degree. Um, this is a custom belt, and this was, uh, this is an Isami belt. So. Um, Isami, they, they do custom belts through, um, I'm not sure what the site was. Uh, it was kind of convoluted, made in Japan, but I think the company was based in Europe somewhere. But this one you can, you can do engraving, or not engraving, embroidery. So I think this means jujitsu, and then obviously my name, or my initial of my name. Uh, this one's kind of worn out already. Um, it's kind of tore up over here and stuff. But um, this belt I wore for, I don't know, about three years um, from the time I got my first degree until my second degree. Um, that's a belt I wore, <clears throat> one of the belts I wore um, among, like also with my Lucky and 
Um, I think I had two luckies. And then my Kataro, which I got in April. Um, and I just got my second degree, I think a month or two ago. So what I did was I sent this back in to Kataro. This is my, my first one. And like I said, uh, the red bar was all the way down to here. And, you know, based on how they space it, you know, I could probably fit probably eight bars on there and I'm never going to have eight bars. So it only made sense for me to ask them to see if they could shorten it. And yeah, they totally, they just, they just took it off and shortened it, put the, put the white bar over here and then just put my second degree on and I'm good to go. Now, you know, I can go three, four, five, six. So I can wear this, the same belt all the way through my sixth degree. If I live that long. Um, but that's the grappling weave. So that's one. I like that a lot, but then when I had that fixed, I decided to order another belt. And I'm not sure if this was the one. Um, oh, no, this is the one that Dave actually gave me um, when he promoted me. He gave me a new belt. Uh, instead of putting a stripe on my existing belt, he just gave me a new belt. And um, Greg, uh, his assistant, also one of our assistant instructors, you know, he runs a great um, fundamentals class. So Monday, Wednesday nights at our Irvine studio, Greg runs that class. It's spot on. You want to go there. Um, pick this other one and the weave is a little different on this one. So let me kind of show you. So this is more of a smooth weave. Uh, this is a traditional, uh, like a cotton canvas versus the other one that I showed you, which was the grappling weave. So if I have them right next to each other, you can kind of see that there is a difference and it feels different as well. Um, one thing that I, that I would say is that the one on the left here, this grappling weave tends to stay tied on a little bit better, um, at least initially. If you're one of those who just kind of hates always having to tie your belt over and over because it comes out, uh, comes off in the, so I'm trying to find a way to turn this light off. Um, trying to sweep up, right? Sweep up, there we go. Um, so that's, um, I can't remember what they call that one. Um, but I like it as well. Uh, now that it's washed and stuff, just make sure that when you order one, you order it a little long. Now we do have, in case you're wondering, uh, because it's an American company, I, I, I do like the fact that they're an American company. Um, we do have a link below you can kind of click and it'll help the channel out. I think they give us a few bucks for everyone that, uh, that gets ordered through that link. I mean, you don't pay any more. Uh, you still pay the same amount, but they end up um, giving the channel some some money for the referral. So if you do, if you do want to get one of these, thank you for that. I appreciate it. You know, if you get it through our link. Um, so this is the same thing. Um, now here's Dave's one. So Dave, you know, he just got his promotion. So he's a fifth degree now. Grandmaster Hickson promoted him at the Hickson Gracie Cup in Arlington, Texas. So um, this one has room for one more stripe and then That'll be it for this belt. And then he goes on to coral after that because it's fifth degree, sixth degree, and then coral after that. And I think for the JJGF, which is the, juris, uh, the jurisdiction, the, um, the organization that we fall under, um, seventh degree is, I wanna say 31 years as a teaching black belt. This belt though is a little bit different. So you notice that there's, um, on the label here, there's red thread around the label as opposed to this one, which has just ordinary black thread around it that holds their label on. You can also, if you don't like the label, you can also get it without the label, which is what my grappling weave is. I mean, you didn't see a label the last time, so. But the thing about this one that we got for Dave is it's a little softer, but it's what's called a progressive grappling weave. So here's kind of a picture. You see the red? The red is on the edges, so when the belt wears down, then his belt will, I think it's red, it might be blue. You can, you can choose colors, uh, transition, it doesn't say what color they made it. I don't remember what I ordered for him, whether I ordered it to transition to blue or transition to red. I wanna, I wanna say that I transition it to red, um, and then I think under the black, might be blue. And then the core itself, the core, which is usually white cotton, is red cotton. Um, so if I remember right, it's red cotton core wrapped in a blue cotton material wrapped again in the black, which is what you see here. So I don't know. We'll see what happens when he wears his belt out. I mean, he wears his belts out 
a lot faster than I do because he doesn't run around with so many of them, but um, might be cool. So anyway, just kind of looking at this picture here on the gift guide, um, Christmas present, huh? Um, they have all colors of belts, so you don't have to, so for instance here, you can get a, a white belt. Um, I don't know what that red and black is, that just probably is another martial art. But yeah, you see the white uh, jujitsu belt, they can also do it in blue and purple. And if you like your stripes to look nicer than that, that simple wrapped medical tape, then you can go that route. So anyway, I just want to kind of give you a, a quick glimpse of, uh, of a new product that we are endorsing. Uh, they're not sponsoring us or anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is Dave, Dave, this is his second one. Like I said, I have three of them. A bunch of our students have them and they're American made, right? Hard to beat that. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Hope all is going well with you, and I hope your Thanksgiving was good, and I hope you have a great holiday season. Merry Christmas, y'all. Bye-bye.